skin, pink bandage. What's up? It is my face story here, and today I am here to talk about all things acid mantle, skin's pH, and acne. I personally, personally feel like the acid mantle is one of the most underrated things in skincare. It's something that we never really talk about. It's something I personally have never really like thought about. I know that sounds bad, but you know, I test out a lot of products and maybe I'll try a new exfoliator once or twice a week. Like I'll stick to general skincare rules, but I've never really thought about the pH of products and how that could actually interfere with my skin and make things worse. I know that sounds real lame, but it's really important. Let's get down to it. The skin's pH. So your skin, your whole body, has a pH of about 5.5. You know, some people's are less, like a 4.5, and some people's are more, like a 6.5. And with that being said, your skin is constantly, you know, you get new skin cells, you shed them. Your skin is constantly going through a cycle to maintain that pH level. If you're using harsh stripping cleansers or if you're using too much, too many exfoliators or a toner, anything that your skin doesn't agree with that can throw off the pH level. Basically going off of that, a lot of people who suffer with acne probably also have not thought about their skin's pH because we just assume, you know, if we buy something like over the counter that it's safe or if we buy one of these brands we saw on Instagram, we kind of think it's safe and we don't really think to test it. One, test it, test your products, test, test, test your products. You can buy the little pH strips from Amazon um, and that'll tell you. And if it is over six even, I would say if it's over six, over six and a half, go ahead and just throw it out and here's why. On your skin, there is a protective barrier called your acid mantle. That is where your skin's pH level is a 5.5. The acid mantle is like an invisible veil that's all over your skin. And this veil keeps in the good stuff and keeps out the bad stuff. So the veil basically protects your skin and protects your body. Um, it protects it from bacteria and viruses, things like that. Protects it from acne. When you strip away the acid mantle or when you, you know, mess with your skin's pH, disrupting the acid mantle, that can actually make you more susceptible and more prone to breakouts. So what I mean by this is using products that have, you know, a pH over like six and a half or seven, using alkaline products. One product I have told you guys before that I used, and now I'm going back saying I do not use it and I do not recommend it, is African Black Soap. So basically, I'm saying basically because there are exceptions, any soap, any bar soap is going to have a very high pH because it usually has al like alkali, is it alkali? Alkali in it? But basically any bar soap is going to have a pH of about nine or 10. African black soap is no exception to this. So even though, you know, when I first started using it and I saw results, maybe it was a fluke, maybe it was my skin balancing out, over time, that squeaky clean feeling that you get afterwards you've just washed away your entire acid mantle. And even though your skin will repair itself, if you keep damaging it so much over time, it, you know, it slows down the repair process and eventually it's not repairing itself fast enough and you're damaging it more than it can repair itself. That can happen with using, you know, too high of alkaline products on the pH scale. That can happen with over exfoliating. So using products that are too acidic, like AHAs, BHAs, if you're using that more than like two or three times a week, that's probably too much for your skin. I would say especially if you have sensitive skin, once every two weeks or even just once a week. The acid mantle can get disrupted by so many different things. You know, the two things I just listed, by alkaline products, by over exfoliating, using the wrong like toner that has alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, or irritating fragrances in it, stuff like that. Even obviously not using pH balanced products, duh, that's like a big one, but even using tap water. So, you know, I've heard some people say, oh, I have to use bottled water because regular water I found out messes up my skin. Even using tap water for some people is too much if you have super sensitive skin and can cause acne because the pH of water, tap water, is like a seven or eight. So just make sure that you're checking all that stuff. I know it seems like kind of duh, but it's like a light bulb went off in my head. One more thing, overuse of skincare products, so like overwashing your face. You guys know I used to wash my face like two times a day, because that's what I was always told. Then I went down to once a day. And then now, honestly, it sounds bad. I don't even wash it every day and it's gotten better. 
really if you do think that your acid mantle or you know your skin's pH is off or your acid mantle has been damaged less is more take that approach and kind of let your skin restore itself for a little while you know cut back on the products and see how that works for you and like i said the acid mantle does restore itself it just depends on the person it usually takes anywhere from i think it's like four minutes to 24 hours but you know the more you keep washing it away the more you keep wearing at it trying to change your skin's ph the weaker that it's going to get and the more susceptible to acne you're going to be Acne also love an alkaline environment. They love it, they thrive in it, they feed off of it. So the more alkaline your skin is, the probably worse your acne is going to get. Ways to tell you have an upset acid mantle skin barrier. There are a few ways to tell. Some of these ways I had happening to me for a while, but I guess I just didn't put like two and two together. Number one thing for me is You've tried literally everything and nothing's working. If your acid mantle is upset, if your skin's moisture barrier is upset, no matter what you do, nothing is going to work because you first have to repair that. If you're trying all these skin cares, all these diets, all these like different things, all these holistic methods, it's not gonna work until you repair your skin's acid mantle. So the past probably like two or three months, I was really struggling with this. It seemed like no matter what I was using, no matter what I was doing, I just kept getting more cysts and more cysts and I was like, what the heck? I tried cutting out every food group. I felt like I had literally tried just about anything. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go on the opposite route. I'm gonna try nothing. So I was doing like full on caveman there for a little bit, but now I'm just doing like a moisturize and oil cleanse every now and then. And that's been like great. But I think really just like letting your skin be, you know, if you have literally tried everything and you still have adult acne, Try letting it be, just see what happens. I promise it won't explode. I promise it won't go crazy. I thought it would, it won't. It will probably actually be normal and you will be freaked out. <laughs> Other ways to tell that you have an upset acid mantle, if you have sensitive skin or like hypersensitivities, you know, a lot of things make your skin freak out. Redness, if you have dryness, if you have flakiness, itchiness, tingling, stinging, um, if you have stinging whenever you're applying products, that is like one huge, huge sign. Even if it's just for a couple seconds or a couple minutes, your face should not be stinging. It's the same skin, you know, as the rest of your body. So it should be feeling the same when you're applying products. And again, if you've tried multiple different products with no difference in skin, you see how much the light has changed since I started making this? Or if you've tried multiple different diet or lifestyle changes with no changes in skin, that was like my main thing, you know, this past year, I feel like I had tried everything. You, you guys know I've even been on Accutane, I've been on antibiotics, I've done digestive health, I've damn near done everything except for probably a parasite cleanse. But yeah, just giving your skin a break and giving your mind a break, I feel like from just even thinking about it is the best. If you're dealing with persistent acne, that won't quit, it could be a acid mantle issue or a compromised skin barrier issue. And I wanna get this information out there because honestly, I'm, a, I'm really into skincare and this is not something that I've read about before like two, three weeks ago. This is not something I really knew about before two, three weeks ago. And it just seems so simple and basic and so duh, but obviously there are certain companies that probably have products or formulate products that have higher alkalinity, which would upset your acid mantle, which would give you acne. So they probably don't want that information out there. Just thinking that, but, but I think it's important. Let's talk about oil cleansing. So pH actually measures the potential of hydrogen and water. So with oil, there's no water in oil. So there is no pH of oil. Therefore oil will not upset your acid mantle. As long as you're completely washing it off and it's not clogging your pores, it's not going to upset your acid mantle. It's going to keep everything the same and you're going to be able to balance your skin out. So that is definitely a good option if you are struggling with a compromised skin barrier, acid mantle, you feel like your skin's stingy, flaky, redness, again, all that stuff. And if you find out that you are using products, you know, that are super alkaline, if you are using a bar soap that has a pH of 10, throw it out. If you Feel your face after you wash it. If it feels super tight, again, you've just washed away the acid mantle and that is going to protect your skin. That's going to keep everything good in and keep everything bad out. So you want that on your face. You want it to be 
on your face. Yeah, that's it. That's all I got. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys are interested more in the acid mantle now and you're gonna go look up all the lovely information out there on the World Wide Web and you're going to kick Acne's butt. All right, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and goodbye. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but <laughs> it's a Napoleon Dynamite. All right, bye.